Hi everyone, it's Steve the Nortel Guy. I'm going to show you how to do line programming on the sets that would be attached to uh, a compact ICS or a modular ICS. That's also known as an O by 32. Um, and to some extent this is also applicable to the BCM, but the BCM is a little different. Um, so if things don't line up exactly as I'm showing you that, and you're using a BCM, that would be why. All right, before we jump right into <clears throat> assigning a, uh, an, an, an lines or additional lines to a phone set, let's take inventory of what we have. So I've got this set right here in front of me. The extension is 4839. But before I, I do that, I want to make sure that's really what it is. So when I want to interrogate a phone to find out some information, I can do uh, feature star zero. Now, on the older phones, there's actually a button that says feature. In the newer phones, they've just got this little Nortel icon, which is the feature button. So I'm going to go feature, star zero. I'm going to start by looking at what lines are on this phone. Looks like I've got line one, I've got line two, and then I've got call forward, pick up, page, blah, 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 all the way down. The last thing I want to know before I jump into programming is I want to confirm that this really is the set that I think it is. So the way you, you, you find out when you're in the feature star zero mode is by pressing the intercom keys, which are used at the lower uh, right hand keys and it says that this is set 4839 the reason that's important is because sometimes the labels don't necessarily reflect what's really going on so I don't trust labels I always do a feature star zero and then look at the station okay so 4839 well 4839 has got two lines attached, attached to it but I want to add a third line so I'm going to enter programming which is feature star star 266344 the default password if it hasn't been changed is 266344 and my, my first heading is terminals and sets. Now over here on the right hand side are my navigation keys. So I know I've said this before, but let's just review. I've got a forwards and a backwards. I've got an enter or down one level. And then I've got this key, the top one here on the left, which is uh, escape or up one level. Okay, in terminals and sets, I want to hit enter. I'm going to type in the set that I want to make the change on, which is 4839. All right, there's my set. I want to hit enter again. And I see line access. That's perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to hit enter again. And there's line assignment. And that's where I want to be also. So let's hit enter one more time. Okay. Now there's a couple things you can do here. One is you can type in a line just by typing in like 003. And you can see that it's unassigned. The other thing you can do um, is you can actually hit scan. And you can see what's already assigned. So I can see right now that line 1 and line 2 are assigned and they're both set to appear in ring. But I want to add line three, so I'm going to back up here. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, I'm going to show line three. It says that line three is currently unassigned. So what I can do now is hit the change key, and there's, um, there's three different options, or actually four options. Um, the first one is I can leave it unassigned. The second one is I can have it ring on the phone but not show up as a button. So it, actually the phone would ring, but it would just kind of light up on the intercom key. You wouldn't actually have a line dedicated uh, with an appearance. The other one I can have is appear and ring, which is pretty much the preferred one, unless for some reason you don't want the phone to ring, which is true sometimes in like executive offices. And then the other one is appear only. Okay, so see how I'm hitting the change key? It could be unassigned, it could be ring only, appear and ring, or just appear. Okay, so appear only means you can see the button, you can see the line lit up, but while it's ringing it won't make any noise. Okay, most of the time you want it to ring, but sometimes if you've got uh, somebody who's working in a, like a conference room or an executive office, you know, they don't want that line to ring. They just want it to appear. All right, I'm going to assign line three to be appear and ring. All right, and then I'm going to hit the next key. All right, and then I can do this again for line four and line five, et cetera, et cetera. All right, once I've made that change, I just hit the, uh, the release key or this little orange hang up key right here. Okay. Now, what you'll see is it'll say update. Okay, so the, the change won't take effect until that update goes away. All right, so if you immediately rush to go, you know, check the phone and you see that line three is not assigned, if that update is still in progress, it won't reflect it. Now, it said update complete and it's gone away. So if I do feature star zero again, I can see that I've got one, two, and now three. Okay, so that's how you do line programming for... Um, an O by 32, a compact ICS, um, a modular ICS, which is just another word for an O by 32, um, and it is similar 
uh, on a BCM, the only reason I, I'm making that caveat about BCMs is that the entry to programming is a little bit different, and also the uh, the line numbering scheme on a BCM, uh, I think it starts with like 61, 62, instead of line 1, line 2. So, all right, well, I hope that helps somebody out, out there, and uh, thanks for watching.